Hello, so I just want to show um, a setup I've done with the Stream Deck and the audio line, uh, info line. Um, so just to start from the top, Global Transpose, it's a toggle switch. So we'll click here and toggle between them. Root key, uh, I can step through. I can also use page up and page down on my keyboard to to do this or I can double click to um, to reset and this is sort of the basic idea on all of them uh, this is funny because I have changed the snap point but anyway musical mode is a toggle algorithmic I can step through them or I can go with the keys or I can go to the first one by double clicking snap if I'm not within the region, it won't do it, it will let me know, but I can change the snap up here, as you can see. Um, and fade in and fade out. When I'm clicking once, you can see that it adds it directly. It will add one, and that's because when I record and edit audio, uh, often I just want to make sure that I'm not getting a clip, and basically one is enough. Uh, but if I click again, I will go to the next number in the line uh, and so basically I can shuffle through that uh, go to the last one or to the first one again um, but I'm mainly doing this on my keyboard anyway with key commands so not the main thing for me was to get the like a quick fade in and fade out like a tiny bit of it and then we have um, volume uh, I get access to the smaller, like a tinier volume, because on my keyboard I can actually change my volume as well. But here, with page up and page down, I get access to the the um, decimal. But if I click again, I get access to the bigger one. Uh, so I can shuffle between those two. Whoops! And then I can of course double click. Uh, to reset it. Lock, obviously shuffle through or double click to go back to not locking it. I can also go with page up and page down. Transpose um, does what you would imagine um, and you can reset it. Fine tune the same thing. Um, and then there's waveform, which is out here. Uh, that basically I can uh, change the waveform uh, size, and a double click will make it large, uh, the largest, and double click will make the smallest. And page up and page down has like a more refined sort of s shift. So that's it. I'll just show you um, really quickly a little bit of the scripting. So each one has a global state. Each of these buttons will make a global state. Um, and then there's the double click functionality here. Uh, and it, the whole thing is sort of based around scrolling. Uh, scrolling on top of these, you can see I can scroll here with my mouse. Um, and fade in and fade out have four global states um, that way of sort of jumping between them um, and for, for instance lock double click will uh, return a page up page up enter and then there's on the keyboard page up and page down which have all the different global states here uh, and then depending on which global state is selected it will change the uh, XY like where it will put the mouse uh, and then it will do scrolling so um, hello